Hey there everybody, it's Marie here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I get to play with the Tonic Studios Stamp Club Stamp and Die Set. So if you're excited to see the cards for today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and tap that bell for notifications. So I just showed you there the stamp set for the month of August. This is the Tonic Studios Stamp Club. There's also these coordinating dies that cut out sentiments and flowers, and you also get that little frame die on the side there as well. I'm going to be using a lot of these dies and stamps together and making a few cards. Now I've pulled together sort of a... Um, color palette and this is not your traditional red and green color palette I have some mint green and some light pink I'm also adding in some of this nouveau drops which are which are clear but they have some glitter in them so I'm going to be using that as accents as well so I just gave you a little shot there of my color palette that I'm trying to stick with sort of that really light pink and green sort of um minty pastel Christmas palette, if you will. I thought I would do something a little bit out of the ordinary for myself. I usually go with the traditional reds and greens, but I wanted to try something different for today's cards. Now my first card that I'll be making is a mini slimline card, and I am taking this branch stamp here from the stamp set, and I'm just gonna kind of stamp a really simple design on the back of my mini slimline. I'm using this pistachio green. This is one of Nouveau's hybrid inks in their little cubes, and I'm just going to stamp this out a few times. I like to use my Misty while I'm stamping because then I can stamp several times and really get a good impression. So whenever I'm stamping my stamps, I'll show you I'm stamping it one time on camera, but I do go back and stamp another two or three times. Um, so like I said, I'm making a mini slimline card, which is about six inches by three inches is really what the mini slimline dimensions are. I also like to trim down my front panel a little bit smaller than that so that I can mount it on my card base and have a matted look on my cards. Now after I have a few of those green branches um, stamped out, I'm coming in with my light pink. This is pink sherbet, I believe, and I'm just stamping that a few times as well. You can see that the branches don't completely line up, and I am not worried about that because I'm going to be putting some flowers and embellishments over these branches, so I'm just kind of trying to get a little background going from one corner to the other corner and using those pinks and greens. So I'm not trying to be precise. I'm not trying to overthink this. I'm just having fun with the stamping and with the colors. I've always really wanted to play around with these non-traditional colors. Um, I think I see these in a lot of different brands where they use the um, light pink and the light green. And I'm sure you've all seen those pink Christmas trees. I think those are really fun as well. So I just really wanted to play around with the non-traditional color palette today. And let me know in the comments if you really like this palette or if you would rather stick with the traditional reds and greens. So I've gone ahead and I've stamped out some of the flowers from the stamp set and I'm coloring them with Nouveau's alcohol markers. Now I do know that Nouveau came out with new alcohol markers so I'm not sure if these are available on their website still but I will put links down in the description box if you want to check them out. I'm only using two colors for my flowers. I did experiment around with coloring them pink, but I didn't like the way the pink turned out. So I'm just using two green colors. I'm using the Pillow Mint and the Natural Patina colors from Nouveau. And the Pillow Mint is number 359 and Natural Patina is 361. In case you wanted to look those up on Nouveau's and Tonic's website. So I've got all of my flowers um, stamped out here, colored. I'm using the coordinating dies from the set to tape those dies down and go cut them out with my die cutting machine. You can see they cut them out really nicely and I'm able to simply color lots of flowers, cut them out and layer them on top of my mini slimline card. So I've gone ahead and I've cut out some more of those flowers, colored them, I'm setting them to the side. I wanna do a little bit more stamping on my background. So that one little stamp I showed you there, it's got all of the dots, it kind of looks like snow. I'm gonna stamp it right over my branches and I'm gonna make sort of gold dots. 
Now, when you're stamping and embossing over a pattern that you've already stamped, like my branches in the background, you do want to give it a lot of time to dry. I thought I gave it enough time to dry, but when I poured on my embossing powder, it stuck to my branches. And instead of redoing the whole thing, I just decided to take a little brush and brush away all of that extra powder. And you can see it's not a clean and crisp embossed um, image, but with that stamp that I'm using that has all of those um, little dots, you can't really tell anyway, so I just went ahead and used it. But if you don't want that little problem to happen to you, make sure that the stamps in the background have already completely dried, and then when you put your powder on, it's not going to stick everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and layer on my flowers here. I'm using a combination of liquid glue and foam adhesive. So those two little flowers in the front are popped up just a little bit to give a little bit of dimension. Now I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment and I would recommend that you stamp it before you glue on all of your embellishments, especially if you're using foam adhesive but I never do things the way that they should be done because I change my mind a lot as I'm creating. So it does work to put your um, card front into your Misty, even if you have foam adhesive on there and stamp it out <laughs> and it did work for me, but it is recommended that you don't do that. You don't do your stamping after you've already layered on all the things, but it works anyway. So I've stamped out that sentiment in a nice crisp black. And like I mentioned in the beginning, I'm using this Nouveau Drops. Um, it's a clear, but it's got glitter in it. And I thought that was just really fun and really pretty with um, this whole sort of light pastel um, um, palette that I'm using to add some of these glittery crystals to the insides of my flowers. And I really like how it looks when it's all dried. So here is that mini slimline card all finished. And I'm gonna be making another card for today's video. So you saw with that die set that there's these three dies that you can cut out um, different layers and different frames. You can absolutely go ahead and use all of these three frame dies and cut out like mini albums and different things. I'm taping all three of them together and I'm running them through my die cutting machine with some of this, I believe it's honey gold cardstock from Tonic. Um, and it's just a really gorgeous gold cardstock. And as I taped those three together, once I run it through my die cutting machine and it's all cut out, you're going to be left with this frame that's got that dotted detail on it and also that inside layer piece. Now that layer piece, I just set aside. I'll use it again later, but I just really wanted the frame. So I've got that frame cut out. I have that set aside and I'm going to go ahead and stamp out all of these flowers here. I'm using my gray um, stamp, my gray ink, because with this lighter color palette, I only want to use black on the sentiments. I want the flowers to be a little bit lighter um, and not as bold. So I'm using gray and I'm stamping this out a few times um, so I get a really nice stamped impression. And then I'm going to go ahead and just cut it out with those coordinating dies. I'm lining up those dies, I'm taping them down, and I'm running it through my die cutting machine. And it just cuts them out so quick and easy. I love it when there's coordinating dies with stamp sets because I'm not a huge fan of fussy cutting. <laughs> I know some people really love to sit and fussy cut and it's a stress reliever for them, but to me it's a little bit tedious and I'd rather get on with the card. So I love coordinating dies. So what I'm doing here on my background is I am taking some tape. I'm taping down some stripes so I can mask off an area and I'm going to ink blend. And these are the same inks that I used um, earlier on my mini slimline card as I was stamping out my background um, because all of my colors are going to coordinate for the cards I'm making today. So I'm using that pink sherbet again, making a very wide, bold stripe here. And then as I'm pulling off my tape, I'm going to use it again. I don't like using tape only once. I like to use it as many times as I can. So I peeled off that tape and I'm putting it back over the stripe that I just ink blended. You can see that I did turn my tape around so that the pink ink that I used is on that bottom side because I'm adding a more narrow 
strip above that pink strip. So I'm using the side of the tape that has no ink on it and I'm taking my green and I'm going to ink blend a green stripe. Now I switched the sides of my tape because I didn't want any of that pink ink that's left on the tape to get in with my green and muddy my colors. So um, if you're using your washi tape or masking tape or anything to do ink blending like I'm doing here, just kind of think about where your ink is and what colors it might make if they mix, if that makes sense. So I've got those stripes all ink blended. I've put some foam adhesive on the back of my card front and I'm going to mount it to my card base. And you can see there on my card base, I've also stamped and embossed those snow flurries or dots, whatever you want to call them, along the side so that I'm going to get some of those um, peeking out on that side of the card. Now my first one was a mini slim line. This one is going to be a regular A2 size card. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I just think it fit really well with the flowers that I'm using and the frame and all the things that I'm trying to do. So here comes that gold frame that I cut out earlier. I put some of that Nouveau Liquid Deluxe glue on the back and I am just going to position it on top of my card front and hold it down. This glue dries really quickly so I like that because you only have to hold it for a few seconds for it to stick and be there. Um, but you also have to kind of work with it. It gives you some wiggle time um, but it doesn't take forever to dry either so I really like that. So I'm going to come in with my flowers that I've stamped. I'm putting them on foam adhesive so I can layer them on top of my card. This card does have a bit more dimension than my first one because I've got that foam adhesive behind the striped panel and I've got foam adhesive behind my flowers. And I just really love dimension. I don't know about you guys, but I love adding all the foam adhesive and just adding lots of dimension to my cards. So I've got my big cluster of flowers um, stuck down there and I'm putting a few more flowers up on the top of that frame. For this little flower here, I've cut a foam square in half and I've put a little piece on each side because I'm going to position this right over that frame and I wanted um, the thing to be uh, level, not bumpy or anything, trying to go over those different height layers on my card. So I just split my foam adhesive up so it wasn't going on top of that frame. This other little flower here, I'm just sticking it on like a regular foam adhesive off to the side. Couldn't decide at first where to put it, but I think it looked really great right there above that green stripe. So that almost finishes this card. What I did next was stamp out a sentiment and cut it out with that coordinating die. I'm adding foam adhesive and liquid adhesive because it's going to start on that cluster of flowers and then come off the side. So I had to add a little bit of foam adhesive behind the word Christmas just to make that level and stick across the front. Now this is pretty much the card, but I did go ahead and add some more of those sparkly Nouveau drops. Um, and I really love when I'm sitting down to make a few cards at a time if I want to make them look like a set. I like to just pick a color palette and use some of the same items on each of the cards and even though you get through making several cards and they're all a different style as long as you use the same colors and the same materials they're going to look like a set at the end so if you want to sit down and make a set of cards i just recommend picking out your colors picking out your items and then just finding how many different ways you can put them together to make a set of cards. I've got that little bonus card there, which is a fun Christmas wreath. I've just used um, the dies from the set, cut them out, made a wreath, and it's more of a traditional Christmas card with the non-traditional colors. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, give it a like, um, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, tap that bell for notifications, and just do all the things, and I will catch you guys next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.